Hey everyone, if my neighbors cooperate today, I'm going to show you my fountain pen collection. All right, so this is the very first one I got. That's not true. I had a vanishing point, not a vanishing point, a fountain pen. When I was a lot younger, I had a few, but I don't know why I got rid of them. I used to love them. I don't know why I did that. I wish I still had them out, but anyway, this is a Pilot Vanishing Point. I have it in the medium size nib. I'm gonna try and see if I can fit them all in one frame. This is the same thing, Pilot Vanishing Point, also in a medium. As you can see, I like Pilot Vanishing Points. This is my black one, also in a medium. Why do I need so many fountain pens? I don't know. Okay, so then I have the decimos. This is the decimo. This is the blue one. I don't remember exactly what their names are. I'm sorry, but this is the blue one. And this is not a vanish point, but the decimo. So it's the like smaller sister, I guess. And I have it in the pink one. I hope you can see the colors. And a purple one. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so the three decimos are both all three in the fine nib and the pilots are in the medium nib. And then I have the Kakunos and I have a pink one in the fine nib, a blue one, and a purple one. And then this blue gray, this is the Kakuno, but this one is in the medium point. Let me just double check. Yep, this is the medium, medium nib. So. These three white ones are in the fine point, and this is the medium. And then I have, I think, just one other pilot, and this is the pilot petite. And this is disposable, but I refill the cartridge, so I keep it. I like it. It's one of my favorite ones for travel because it's just a little one of. Not the only one. And then I have my Twisbees. So I have the Twisby Eco in black. I think you you guys probably already know. But this is the Twisby Eco in black and it's a piston filler. So you turn it and the way you turn it, let's see, you turn it. Okay, let me just take this off. Okay, so the way this piston filler works is you turn it. And so you have this part in the ink and you turn it and it just sucks it up like a syringe. And then as you turn it up, it fills up with ink. And then when you're done, you can go up back and forth when you fill, uh, use up your ink and that will help you clean it out anyway. So this is the Twisby Eco in black. I have it in white. I have it in orange. And then I have the minis. I have a black one, and this one is black with silver accents, and this one is white with rose gold accents. So that's that. And then I have the Twisby Swipe. I did an unboxing of this one. And then the Twisby Go. And I don't know why I'm really I don't, I'm not, it's not inked up right now, but this one, the way you fill it, and you can do it with the swipe too. You just push it in and then put this part in your ink and then it sucks it up. I like it. It's pretty cool. I really like this one. Well, I like all of them. <laughs> that's why I have so many. Okay, so that that's my Twisby collection. And then I have... Let's see, I have two Lamy Safaris. One is in, let me see, do I remember the color? I think I have those written down. This one's in mint glaze. It's a Lamy Safari. And then this one is blue macaron. Is that pretty? I love that one. It's a cute color. All right, so that's that one. And then I have one Sailor. And this is the Sailor Compass 911, and this is in the olive color. 
Yes, so pretty. So that's my Sailor Compass. I have a Monteverde Ritma, and this is a silver. I don't remember if I did an unboxing of this or not. I think I may have. Yes, I think I did. But I like that it does that little, like the cap is magnetic, and when you pull it out, it does that little popping sound. And so, yeah, it does post in the back, too. Anyway, this is my Monteverde Ritma. And then, let's see. Oh, I have my Amazon Basics. Who knew Amazon made fountain pens? I didn't. All right. Let's see how many more I can fit here. Amazon Basics. And this is a new one that I haven't used yet. This is a Narwhal Peter Draws Edition. And I think this is a piston filler, too. It is. It's brand new. I just took it out of the box. I just haven't used it. But isn't that pretty? I love the colors on this. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get them all in one frame, am I? Okay, and then I have my Platinum Preppies. These ones are new. I think I, I'm sure I did an unboxing of these. I, I think I got this one at Yoseka Stationery, maybe. Anyway, this is the Pink Sakura. This one's limited edition. This one's limited edition. I don't remember what this one was called. This one I did an unboxing of, this blue one. It's so pretty. But then I had to get another one because I broke the other one. I dropped it. It fell out of my pocket in the parking lot. And just as I was driving by, I saw, I mean, when I realized it had fallen out, I heard something. I didn't see it. And then as I realized it was my pen, I turned back and somebody drove over it. Sadness. Okay, this is my palette preppy in a purple. And here's one in black. These are just regular ones. These aren't limited edition. Let's see, what else? Oh, I have a Traveler's Company. And this, I don't remember what color this is. I haven't used this one in a long time. But this is a Traveler's Company. Oh no, that's not what I should have done. Wait, how do you pull it out? Okay, so it just pulls out. And extends to a pretty good size pen. I really like this too for travel. Okay, there's that one. And then I have a shark pen. I think it's a Jin Hao shark pen. Can you see how it's a little shark? I don't know. I think the other ones are going to block my ability to show you. Let's see. I can put the narwhal here. Push these over a little bit. So you can still see what I'm showing you. Okay, and this this is a, I think it's Moon Men. I think they changed the name of it now. But look at this little, chunky little fat one. I haven't used it yet. It's an eyedropper pen. And what that means is you fill all this area, this back end. But look at how chunky it is. Oh my gosh. I feel like that would be really comfortable to draw with or write with for an extended period of time. But I love how fat it is. That sucked me in. Okay, and then, okay, I'll show you my, oh, okay, this one I think is, I don't remember, does it say? Let me see, Moon Man, this is also a Moon Man. And this one actually is one that you can change. Like I have the glass nib in it right now, but it comes with a fountain pen nib as well. So I have to count it, right? So here's a fountain pen nib. Does this turn? Yeah. I never used it as a fountain pen, but it is a fountain pen. So there's that one. And then I have my Coeco Sports. I have one in white, a purple, looks like a little lavender, a red. They're my Kawakos. I think some of them are all sport. I think one of them's an all sport. I don't remember what their the, the different names are. I think the all sport's the one that's like metal, right? Maybe I don't know. So this one is a Hello Kitty edition. So I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's a Hello Kitty bow, and it says Kawako Hello Kitty. It's just so cute. And then on the 
this. I thought it had Hello Kitty somewhere else. Maybe not. Okay, on the nib? Yes, on the nib. You can't see it. But right here, there's a little Hello Kitty head right here. It's so cute. I don't think you can see it. But anyway, this is a collab with Hello Kitty, Sanrio. And then I have the brass one. And the olive green one. Oh, and a navy, I think it's called navy blue. And I really like, so I wanted one that was, actually I wanted three of them that matched and not, I don't, not three fountain pens, but three Kawakos that matched that I could just use together. So this is the mechanical pencil and the ballpoint pen. And I know these don't count as fountain pens, so I'm not counting it as my fountain pen collection, but I thought I'd share it with you since they were kind of like a collection for me, like this little three that I, I wanted to have the three to have at work. If I needed to use a one pound. <sighs> In case I wanted to use a fountain pen, ballpoint pen, I mean pencil or a ballpoint pen. And I think those are so cute as a set. So I wanted the whole set. And I think that's it. That's my whole fountain pen collection. Let's see, how many do I have? Oh no, do I want to count? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so I have, okay, I just counted them and I have like in total 40 fountain pens. That's not counting these two because they're not fountain pens. Just the rest of them, there's 40 of them here. So... Mm, I'm eyeing another one too, so I don't know. And it's so easy to buy these Twisby ones because they're not very expensive and they're really great pens. I really like them. These Kakunos too. These are more expensive and I really love the way they write. This one I just bought because it was beautiful. These ones are pretty cheap too, these Pilot Preppies. I'm sorry, not Pilot Preppies. I always want to call them Pilot Preppies, Platinum Preppies. Uh, these ones too, these Kaweco ones. Kaveco, I guess I should say. Kaveco. Anyway, uh, these are not too expensive, but they're so cute. And I'm really loving this green one lately. When I bought the three, this is the only one I could find. Well, the only one that I liked that I could find all three available. So that's why I ended up with that blue. And I really like it. It's very beautiful. Um, but that's pretty much it. This is my fountain pen collection so far. So I don't know this too much how many do you guys have I'm pretty happy with my collection if I had to choose a favorite I think it'd be the vanishing points the vanishing points and the decimals only because they're retractable oh they write really nice too but yes I love that they're retractable I thought about trying which is the one that has the the retract Oh, it's a dialogue. Is it Lamy dialogue? I think it's a Lamy. Lamy dialogue. That's also retractable. I thought about trying that one, uh, but that one's also pricey. So that's something I'll have to uh, con do. Just consider a little bit more and make sure that that's something that I want. I'm going to use and that I really like. And I'm not just buying it just because it's a retractable. Because I am really happy with these ones. These are my favorite by far. And then after that, I don't know. I like them all. I do. I'm trying to figure out. I really like my Twisbees. I really like this one too. I mean, this is a Twisby as well, but you know, the Sailor's really nice. The Lamy's, you know, with my Lamy's, one of them's a fine and one of them is a medium and the medium writes finer than the fine. I try not to ink too many up at the same time. What do you guys do? Do you guys just ink as many up as you want and then just try to rotate through them? Or do you just try to keep a limited number of them inked up? Right now, the only ones that are inked up are this one and I keep this in a journal I keep for my daughter that I write about her I have let's see what else do I have inked? well these ones already came inked up well they have cartridge so that one's inked up this one's inked up this one's inked up and then one of my lamis is still inked up I have to clean the other one but I'm trying to use up the inked ones the ink and the inked ones first before I ink up another one so I don't have a bunch of inked up pens. Does that make sense? I don't know. I want 
I don't know. I wish I had enough time to write all the time to keep rotating them quicker. But anyway, um, that's it. That's my whole fountain pen collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.